In this video, I'm going to talk about the cart page widget. Before setting up this widget, I recommend you first set up customer giving. I will provide links to a video and articles on how to do this in the description of this video. The cart page widget is located by default on the cart page of your store underneath the checkout button. Customers can select a cause and a donation amount and then add their donation to the cart. So there are two ways to add this. Uh, the first way we're going to talk about is adding it through the Virtue Admin. So when on your Virtue Admin, you need to go to the side navigation menu and click on Widgets. This will take you to the Widgets page. At the top of the page, there is another navigation which shows you the available widgets that you can add to your store. At the moment, we only have product page and order confirmation. We don't have the cart page widget available to us. This is because we don't have customer giving enabled. To enable customer giving, go to your navigation and click on the customer giving link, which will take you to the customer giving page. At the top of the page, you will toggle on the allow customers to give with their purchases and click save. Now, when you go back to the widgets page, you will have two additional widgets, the cart page widget and the after checkout widget. These are both customer giving widgets. So click on the cart page widget, and then on the cart page, you will see that there is another toggle. If we click this, toggle it on, and go scroll down to the bottom and click save. If I go back to my store and refresh the page, the widget will appear. Another way to add the cart page widget is if you are a Shopify or Shopify Plus user and have a theme, which is a 2.0 theme. So you can find this out very easily. If you go to your Shopify admin and you click online store and themes and you select your current theme, and select customize. When you're in your theme editor, you can click add section and you should have the option to add apps. So if you see this tab in your editor, it means that you can add our apps to your theme editor. So before we do that, I'm gonna turn off the cart page widget in my virtue admin because we want to add it through the theme editor. I'm going to go back to the theme editor and I will make my way to the cart page. Then you need to look for the template section on the left here and underneath subtotal, click on add block. This will give you a list of the available Virtue apps. Select Virtue customer donations, and then that will be added underneath the checkout button. You can move that if you want within this section. I'm going to leave it underneath the checkout button and then click save. One thing to note here is that if you come to the cart page and it says that your cart is empty, when you add the customer donations widget, it's not going to appear on the page. So a simple way to fix this is to go to your products and then click the add to cart button. So you can see now the cart has been updated and it has two products in there. So if you want to make any visual changes to this widget, make sure to have something in your cart. If I go back to my cart page, I can see that the widget has been added and it will work as it did when we added it through the Virtue Admin. The great thing about adding this widget via the theme editor is that we can add it to any page we want. So if you, for example, wanted to add it to your home page, you would do the same thing. So you could do add section, apps, and then find the Virtue customer donations app. And then you could drag that so it appears at the top of the page and click save. And now if I go back to my store, 
my customers can add a donation right from the homepage. There is an even more direct way to add the widget to your theme editor, and that is if you go back to the widget page and you click on cart page, at the top of the page, you will see this blue link. Clicking on this blue link will redirect me to my theme editor, where I can see that the app has been added and I didn't need to do anything. I do need to make sure I click save. And then if I go back to my store, I can see that the widget has been added. So this is just a quick overview and guide on how to add the cart page widget to your store. To find out more about how to set up customer giving, you can check out the customer giving playlist on YouTube or follow the links to some helpful articles in the description of this video.